So we're starting instead of throwing the cylinder, we've already done that. So after it dries enough that it's not sticky and wet, we're going to trim it. I'm going to trim it the easy way with this large trimming tool. I've already centered it so it should be pretty easy and pretty smooth. You notice here at the bottom, I'm only going to trim to here, gradually bringing it in. Not necessarily quickly, but there's no point in fooling around. This is to thin the side a little bit because it's usually thicker as you go down the cylinder. So you can see it's pretty smooth, looks pretty good. I go from the center here. You need to know how thick your bottom is before you do it. Normally I'm looking for a quarter of an inch thickness, which I test when I make the feet. So, right now you can see, I'm actually trimming a little more in the middle, because I don't want it perfectly flat, and I certainly don't want a dome shape. So, I'm going to trim the center. And you can see where the, this is trimmed away already. And then as I come to the edge, I'm going to just ease off on that tip a little bit, which will leave the outside edge thicker. And thicker means it will rest on this edge as opposed to the same. Now I trim off what's called the foot. It's the bevel angle inward. I'm going to quickly smooth this off. This is the quick and easy way. If you're doing a lot of pieces, you can do it the same way. Standardize your work every time. That's done. So now just to make sure I've got it smooth. I don't want lines in this particular. So it works just the way I ended the trimming. There. Take that. Edge and make it smooth. Now, very flat on this. A little bit of downward pressure. Hopefully, it'll take any grooves. Things like the other way. Now, if that doesn't flatten out really quickly, I can go back with the tool and trim it a little more. Okay, there we go. Now the whole purpose of this demonstration is to show how you can make a coffee mug, tea mug, drinking with a handle. So that's the basic part right there. You can sign your name on the bottom if you like. I usually do that later. So there's our finished piece. We put the handle on here. So I've got one ready. This is, these are other mugs that are in different stages of being complete. This is the one I've done the handle. I've already done this handle. You can look at another video about how to make a handle if you like. Um, I may do that at the end. I probably will do it at the end. This particular mug has a, a design of a company. Castle Motors in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, so there's their plug. So I'm making these for the owners and they give them away to their customers or their employees uh, just for fun. They, uh, they pay for any number of mugs that I do um, and it's something that's really considered custom work. So. If they were doing this just for advertising, they'd just go to the print shop and get a souvenir mugs made. But these are special, uh, individual, handmade. Uh, and so uh, that's why I'm doing them for them. So I'm going to have the, the design facing out. And then the handle will be about here. This is how you apply a handle. It's called scoring. 
some scratches like this. And that's where the handle's going to go. You're softening the clay up, and then you're going to make it a little bit wet right there so that it will stick. So that's done. Here's my handle, and this is where it came from, so I will. I think I will pull it out then. So I'm going to trim it somewhat like this. That depends on your personal taste. I'm going to put it right into where I did the scoring. Keep the camera right where it is, and I'll turn the mug so you can see. So then I'm going to press this. I can hold and support that mug on the inside. I'm just going to press it in until it sticks better. Now I'll pick it up. Finish that edge there. This can be as rough or as smooth as you like. It's going to be covered with a smooth uh, glaze. So on this side, just blending it into the cup. And I just took my finger and spread it out a little bit. I'm looking for the shape of the handle. I want it like, a, like an ear, if you want to say it. So this is your handle. I'm not going to stick that in. I'm just going to press it there. So that gives you an idea of how you're going to hold that handle. So that's where I want the handle. I want to make sure it's straight this way. So there's two ways you can do this as well. You can cut this piece off. You wet it just a little bit. Usually the bottom is wetter, so it will stick. So remember again, this is going to be uh, smooth. I'll have a shiny glaze on it. It will fill in some of those rough spots, but you can also clean it when it's dry. So some people will do something like this. Put the thumbprint in there so the FBI can find you. So that's just another design element you put in. If you'll see on the top of this, there's a gap in there, and that is not good. So you need to press that into the clay. Press it in directly. A couple things you can do here. You can just take that tool, smooth it in like that. that out a little bit. Now since I have that thumbprint down here, I'll take this top and I'll press it in again so I have a thumbprint on the top and the bottom. You notice there's a little bit of dark clay there. That's easy to take care of. You can clean it off later or you can clean it off now. Depending on what kind of glaze you have, whether you want to keep that or not. So, a little bit of more smoothness here. And a lot of people at this stage will just take some water, wet the body of the cup, so that clay, which is wetter, will blend in better. And again, the glaze will fill in some of that. You can make it, make it as refined and smooth as you want to. So basically, there's my mug, that's what I'm looking for. If you don't like that flatness there, you can put your thumb back in there and round it up a little bit. Raise that up. You can have a nice ear shape there. Alright, so the one thing I didn't do is I didn't show you the handle. So, right now, I'll demonstrate how you make the handle. You have to back up a little bit and remember where I left off. And a little piece of clay, here we go. So that's done. It's a good idea if you're in a hot climate like we are in Arizona to cover that for a day or so upside down so it won't uh, deform and it will dry slow. So the handle is made this way. And that can dry fairly slowly. The slower the better usually. I have a ball of clay, 
I'm going to go through this kind of quickly. And I want kind of a pointy end. And I don't want any like wrinkled in the clay. So that's really what I'm looking for. You can make a pitcher handle, a handle for a bowl, a handle for a mug. Basically, you can start out with this. A little smaller is fine. Get it wet. Take your hand and just gently slide it down. So, a lot of times when I first start, I'll get my hand wet. So watch this. I'm going to push up and then I'll pull down. Just keep repeating that. Now, once you pull it down and start seeing the shape, you can turn it around, nice and slippery, nice and wet, and pull a little harder, not harder, but squeeze a little bit to taper that end. You don't want real wide up here and real wide down here. So you see it's getting thinner and longer. Some people will do something like this. Put a thumb print in there and just ever so slowly come down and then give you a nice curve in your handle and a little bit of extra form so we're close that would be a pitcher handle but maybe longer so i'll come back and push it down now if i'm looking for the mug handle i'm going to use maybe this part so i'll keep ending and pulling down very slippery and it'll close it like this to make it smaller for that. So you can kind of see pretty much got right there. Now, this is not going to stay in shape by itself. So what you have to do, pick a board, anything you like, hang it over the edge, and let it sit until it's not sticky. Uh, depends on how, how you like it, whether you can get used to a pretty stiff handle that one there was about normal for me so you can shape it and it'll hold its shape uh, but not so dry that it's hard to attach okay and there we go